。接下来我们要请出的是来自马来西亚的 CXS， 请看 VCR。Hi everybody, my name is Jan Lamrex, the CEO and、uh, founder of CXS Analytics. We are a company based、uh, in Malaysia, and we were the winner of the ASEAN competition.、Uh, 85% of the jobs in 2030 still have to be invented, and the workforce as of today is not ready for that change. And this is where our platform comes in, and、uh, we are extremely excited to share that during our eight-minute pitch、uh, on Saturday, where we address these issues. Uh, Alibaba, we are coming, and it will be very hard to take us out of China. Hey, everybody! Real quick shout out to the translation girls there. Great job! I'm gonna give you a little bit more work now, so please keep it up for me. Um, wow, it's been amazing in the past few days here.、Um, we've been talking about AR, we've been talking about VR, we've been talking about robotics, we've been talking about everything. But did you actually realize that five to ten years ago we didn't even we weren't even talking about those things? It's just coming right now. But what is the impact on that on our current workforce? If you know that 50% of the jobs we know today will disappear within ten years. And that's the global issue. That's not only in, in in Malaysia. That's not only in the U.S. That's everywhere in the world. 50% of the jobs we know today will disappear. 85% of the jobs in 2030 still have to be invented. Our kids are going to school, but we don't know what kind of job they're going to do. In China, this is going to hit very big as well because there is still a lot of manufacturing and production going on here. So we will have job loss here as well. Now. How do you address this issue? Because this is a global issue. What we have been doing together with Alibaba and Mdeck is we have been combining analytics and data sources from education, enterprise, and government together in one open platform. Give you an idea. Alibaba has invested a lot into Malaysia. They have launched a digital free trade zone just a few months ago. Digital free trade zone is actually the new Silk Road. If anybody knows the history, the Silk Road. So that's what we are doing. We are actually digitizing the Silk Road. Now, Alibaba is also building the second biggest data center of Alibaba in Malaysia. But what we are doing then there is making sure that we have the digital workforce. To address all those issues, because Alibaba is bringing tons of new jobs to us, and is our workforce ready for that? This is why I'm going to try and explain how you have been doing this all over the world. We have 100% of the Norwegian students on our platform, 100%. Through our analytics and through our、uh, database, we are able to predict which student is in danger of dropping out of school. And not only that, we can calculate till the dollar cent the societal cost of a dropout in school, and also the cost of what it does. How do we have to bring him back into the workforce so we can tackle the unemployment issue? Because of that, the citizens of Norway know what they are getting. Because of that, the citizens of Norway are the happiest people in the world, which is quite important because they have only like four hours sunlight every day, and we are number one in the Human Capital Index. It all starts with the individual. It's also what Jack Ma has been telling. It's not that important anymore from what school you come. It's more important what your mindset is. What do you wake up for in the morning? What are your values? What are your interests? What are your preferences? What is the what motivates you in a daily basis? So imagine we have been looking at our data, and all of us here are somewhere connected to entrepreneurs or are entrepreneurs. Our data says this could be the potential profile of. An entrepreneur. We make the same things for cybersecurity people, for data scientists, and for all the jobs in the future. If you have the right mindset, you can do whatever you want, basically. Now, companies are going through a change as well. We, we are working with the largest bank of、uh, Scandinavia, and they just announced we are not a bank anymore. We are an IT services company. But the problem is, they have hired 20 years ago people to work as bank tellers in the back office, and they are expecting them now to go outside and do a social job. 
it's a huge problem. So now we are profiling the entire bank, more than 15,000 people, who is cut to go to the next age of this company, who do we have to reskill, who do we have to relearn. That is how we're going to bring the, that bank back into the future. Now, imagine as a bank that you can then tap on a national framework where every single graduate in the world is already mapped out with their mindsets. It's anonymized, of course. And straight away, you can pick people and place them in your company and they bring relevance from day one. No more six months reskilling, no more six months learning, no more six months that you have to bring them through a program before they bring any relevance. No, they will bring relevance instantly. Government. We were doing a research for the government of Malaysia, and this one is cool. 25% of the students and graduates are aligned with their career choices. Only 25%. You know what that means? It means that 100 engineers come to the workforce and only 25 are going to do something with engineering. All the rest we have to retrain, reskill, and whatsoever. Only 25%. So this was a huge issue. So we, we made then a human development, human development uh, portal for the, uh, for the Malaysian government. 283,000 graduates will join us on a yearly basis. We will look into their values, their, their interests, their preferences. We will look at what motivates them. We will look at their mindset and we will be doing direct matches into the workforce. Because right now, the demand of the workforce is created by companies, not by schools. The future of companies and jobs is in the hands of entrepreneurs. It will be the Alibabas and all these startups that will be creating the jobs. For the user, the experience for the user is a one-stop uh, experience that we are giving them. But you have to imagine this. Skills that you learn today will be irrelevant in two to three years. Everything you learn today is obsolete in five years. We have to teach our graduates and our kids grit, self-efficacy, intrinsic motivation. They have to reinvent themselves. They have to reskill. They have to relearn. Through our AI powered, together with Alibaba portal, this is where we are addressing these issues and helping to scale up the whole workforce of Malaysia, including the 50,000 plus jobs that Alibaba is creating in Malaysia at this moment. So, if we can do all this, and we are currently doing this, uh, where we connect education to enterprise, just to give you a real quick example, 97% of universities worldwide believe that their graduates are ready for the workforce. Only 10% of the CEOs, the ones that hire them, believe the same thing. We have an issue, but we can address the issue right now. This is no predictions. My 2017 numbers are my actual numbers. In less than 10 months, we have reached 12 million US dollars revenue with various governments. We are active in 34 countries and we're working with major companies. Norway is the red block. Norway, we have 100% of the student population on our platform and it's only one country. I can talk a lot about our team. Yes, we have people from Harvard or we have people from Facebook, whatever, but that's not important. What is important for us is that we have people that have the same mindset and want to bring this change together with us. We work with the biggest rock stars out there, but what we do is we are a global company, but we go really deep into a local context. What we solve in Malaysia, the problem we solve in Malaysia is slightly different than the problems that we're solving in China. And it's everywhere in the world like that. What I can say though is, we have 34 countries where we have active um, projects right now and over 20 nationalities in our team. This is a quote, Gartner has been chasing after us since the longest time, since we actually just launched. And they want to place us into a magic quadrant. But we, there is no magic quadrant for us because the only magic quadrant there was was with Accenture and BCG, but we are beating them in every deal that we have. We are the only lifelong learning analytics company in the world that prepares individuals for the ever-changing workforce. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I can say lately what dragged me out of my bed and motivated me every day has been Alibaba for the past few days. Hold on, please be, yeah, please bring me on stage. Uh, I have one question. In your business model, who is your customer? And who will pay for you with business? Yeah, yeah. That's a very good question. We have two parts. Um, we have three models, actually. 
The enterprise will pay an enterprise license and a per user license. The government will pay a license fee to drop our portal into their country. The individuals, the graduates and the students will never pay. Uh, the second question is, uh, where is your big data from? Uh, especially, how could you get the data from your government or from the you know, university or the other yep. department? There, yeah. yeah, there is several data sources that are already open. You have to imagine, what we do is, we look at the open gov data that is out there. That is one set. But we infuse it with our own learning analytics. We have developed, and that is something that has been researched and validated for quite some time now, a question and survey set that infuses these data analytics. So we have several sets. But for example, um, there is a social, if, if you know, like for example, a teacher is not in, in, in India, there is a problem now, 20% of the kids do not get education because the teacher is not showing up in school. This data is open. We use this data to, comp to calculate the societal cost. So we have several sets from the government. Then we look into the enterprise because we profile a full enterprise as well, where we then look at what is their demand for the coming 10 years. That's an extra set. And then we go into the individual sets into the country. And as a profiling tool, you log in and you do your whole profile. I have a question. So my understanding, I was on an impression, uh, so you guys are doing pretty much the matchmaker, right? Is that right? Sort of? Um, we are a little bit more you than help, a matchmaker. You have, you have a profile, you have a bunch of jobs, you're going to match them. Actually, not, not really. What, what we are doing is we are actually finding out what your motivation in life is, what your mindset in life is. You know, there's this very famous quote of Jack Ma where he says, you know, you do not hire the best, you hire the craziest. There is so many things that are going on. It doesn't care anymore you come from Harvard. Google actually doesn't even hire people from Harvard anymore or top graduates anymore. They're actually hiring people, putting them through their own university to bring, so that they can bring relevance to their work straight away. So when we go into the individual, it's a self-awareness tool where we find out about your mindset. That is one data set that we do. The matching is just a result of the AI. This, this is not, it's not what I sell at this moment. What I sell is the profiling. So we are looking for the crazy people. What are earth, what 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 what's the data other than the resume you have to say hey, this means crazy for I, something? Yeah. So I have several sets of data. I have the self-efficacy rating of yourself if you go through my uh, portal. Self-efficacy is the single most important skill in your life, which determines your success in life. We're the only company who is able to measure that together with OECD. We do intrinsic motivation. We do. Um, yeah, thousand. We have 96 uh, parameters that we measure. If you go through our portal, our profiling, I have 23 full text page analytics about yourself. How do you verify the result of? Um, how do you verify the accuracy of your model? So um, what we have been doing is we have been building an international um, um, board where we work with the best professors and doctors in the world. So all our data, we open them up to professors and doctors to validate of what we are having. Also, um, we have partnerships with several companies, and we also made an acquisition of one company in which we have 15 years of historical data of the same individuals. We're the only company in the world that has that. This is data from you as a 15-year-old that went to school. 15 years later, you are into the workforce. I know what the impact of education was on you. I know what the impact of your mindset was on you. And I know what happened to you into the workforce. We're the only company in the world that has those data sets right now. And we did that through an acquisition. And that's how we build our models, our predictive models for the rest of the world. For example, tomorrow I'm flying to Mexico. In Mexico, we found out that bullying and ordering clause is a huge, huge, huge problem. So we compare to what we have done in the past with our other companies. And now we made a solution for them. 那如果十五年之前没有的这个职业，新出现的职业怎么去建模和评估？ So how do you verify and build a model for the new careers, the occupation that did not exist before? Yeah, how we are doing it now, right now, is we look at the demand in the market, which demand is there in the market right now, and then what we are actually focusing on is 
I don't want to put yourself in a box, you're a data scientist. A data scientist today is a completely different guy from a data scientist in the future. What I want to teach you is, I want to teach you grit, self-efficacy, how to reinvent yourself. Whatever you learn today is irrelevant in two to three years anyway. I want to make sure that you're motivated to go into a job, that you're motivated to reinvent yourself. So that's how we tackle that issue. We look at the jobs of the future, obviously, and we have the demands. But if I can make sure that you believe in yourself, and I can make sure that I find your passion, you are a data scientist, and I, you reinvent yourself all the time, then we build up a workforce that can adapt to the new jobs right away. Just, just imagine, DFTZ is now launched in Malaysia. It's creating 55,000 new jobs whatsoever. What's the next big thing going to be for Malaysia? It's mo most likely going to be dro drone pilots. Nobody is teaching that right now. Nobody is giving a course of drone pilots right now in Malaysia. But what I have with my portal is I know which guys are motivated or who have the affinity to become a drone pilot. So I'll push you in that direction. Thank you very much. You have a lot of potential for becoming like a motivation lecturer. Thank you.